This year, the CWI is celebrating. 75 years ago, the Institute opened its doors under the name Mathemati Centrum or Mathematical Center. Its aim was to promote the use of pure and applied mathematics in the reconstruction of the Netherlands after the Second World War, to improve prosperity in the Netherlands and to enhance the Dutch contribution to international scientific culture. Computer science was later added to the mix and the center was duly renamed Centrum Wiskunde and Informatica, or in short, CWI. CWI researchers work at fundamental, groundbreaking research that lays the foundation for future breakthroughs. The CWI strives to share the knowledge it acquires with society, and its research therefore always has a social relevance. This has proven itself repeatedly over the years. Let's take a look at some of the research. In 1952, the Mathematical Centre developed the first Dutch computer, Aga. After the North Sea flood disaster in 1953, which killed nearly 2,000 people in the Netherlands, ARA was used to create models and perform calculations for the Delta Works, the Dutch national plan for new water defences, to prevent such a flood happening again. Today, the Delta Works still protect the Netherlands against high water. Cooperation is central in how CWI works, both on a national and international level with companies and with individual researchers, who themselves go on to launch spin-offs. The first CWI spin-off was in 1956, Electrologica, the first Dutch computer manufacturer. To date, there have been 27 spin-offs. A modern example is Stockhaus, that makes software that predicts how ambulances can be efficiently distributed within a region and therefore be on the scene faster, a literal life-saving development. Navigation is an integral part of daily life, in 1959, one of the world's top computer scientists, Edska Dijkstra, developed the shortest path algorithm, also known as Dijkstra's algorithm. This is the basis of all route planners used today. For those who do not like to navigate, but prefer traveling by train, CWI has also delivered. In 2007, CWI researcher Lex Schrijver, with others, created an algorithm that was used to redesign and optimize the timetables of the Dutch railways. For his CWI research, Lex received the Spinoza Prize, the highest Dutch science award. For most of its 75 years, CWI has been a hotbed of programming language design and development, starting with the algorithmic languages ALGOL 60 and ALGOL 68, and continuing with Python, developed in 1989 by Guido van Rossum. Python is now the number one programming language in the world, and has millions of users, from hobby programmers to tech giants like Google, Amazon, Yahoo, and Facebook. CWI has also been a leader in the development of the internet. In April 1986, CWI registered .nl as one of the first country domains worldwide, followed by the first Dutch domain name, CWI.nl. Not long after that, in November 1988, CWI set up the first node on the open internet in Europe and spun off two companies to further expand the internet in the Netherlands and Europe. CWI was involved right from the beginning with the Internet's most important application, the World Wide Web, and had one of the world's first websites. CWI researchers have contributed to the design of many web standards, including CSS, HTML, XHTML, SVG, RDF, and many others. For security and privacy on the web and the Internet, data is usually encrypted. CWI has always been on the forefront of research in encryption, both in creating encryption methods and in testing them, by attempting to break them. In 1999, CWI coordinated the breaking of the encryption standard RSA 512 by factoring large numbers into their prime factors. In 2008, a group of CWI researchers and international colleagues exposed weaknesses in the MD5 security standard, which is widely used on the internet, for example, by web browsers. In 2017, the same happened again with the security standard SHA-1, which is used to protect credit card transactions and digital signatures. In the near future, quantum computers will surpass ordinary computers in performance. What will the possibilities be? And how can they best be used? In 2015, CWI launched QSoft, the research center for quantum software. Within QSoft, researchers explore the possibilities and limitations of software that could be used on such computers once they are available. In addition, Quantum research also contributes to the development of artificial intelligence. Also in 2015, the CWI opened the FlexRay Lab with its unparalleled X-ray scanner that provides real-time 3D images. With the FlexRay Lab, mathematics and 3D scanning are brought together. 
so the new calculation methods can immediately prove themselves in practice. Working closely together with radiotherapists, CWI developed artificial intelligence to realize improvements in radiation treatment for cancer. Patients are now treated following optimal radiation plans created by AI. CWI also works on energy research, with the main questions being, how do you achieve the most with artificial intelligence and calculation models from available energy sources? And how do you distribute energy fairly and efficiently? Throughout its history, CWI has been an innovator, connector and driver in mathematics and computer science. Joining forces with the best and most motivated scientists and organisations in the field and with unprecedented future possibilities ahead, they will continue to expand their work.